Hey there, hi there, ho there. This is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, doing my follow-up Friday. My camera keeps moving. Woo! <laughs> hello, hello. I'm sorry, I forgot to put out a warning shot. We ran out for a little lunch today, and I had my phone with me. Hi, Cindy. Hope you're doing better. Um, I had my phone with me, and I completely forgot. But I have lots of fun things to share with you today. So um, I'll see if somebody else comes on. I'm trying to... Stay there, phone. <laughs> it's not gonna. Um, anyhow, I um, after Wednesday, the winging it on Wednesday. I played and played and played with my kit. In fact, I used up all the bases that came in the kit. I did no stamping. I just used the memories and more um, packet um, things that were in there. Remember, because you get a half a packet. Hello, Patty. And I had so much fun, I have to tell you. Um, without even stamping, with no ink, I did cut some things up, and I'll show you that, but um, had lots of fun. I did get some photographs of some other cards that I had made with the kits um, on my blog, so stampingjourney.com, so you can go and check out some more. And the ones that I'm showing you today, I will take photos of and put those on the blog too. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to share some cards with you from uh, made with the kits. So here we go. Let's turn this around. There we go. We're going for a little ride. Woo. There we go. Look at, I have a new, <laughs> it's the little things in life, right? I have a new pad on my desk and I just love it. Oh, you're waiting for a friend. You're, oh, good. Well, Patty, I'm glad you could join me while you're chauffeuring people. That is wonderful. I will fill up that time. Isn't this look kind of cool? It's, it is like, um, it's a rubber mat on the back and I just thought, oh, this is so pretty. So because I wasn't stamping today, I would let you see my pretty, pretty new <laughs> pad underneath here. It's, it's the little things in life. So on Winging It on Wednesday, we did the dandy garden. I did the dandy garden kit. This is what I have left in my kit. Um, I used a lot of it. I still have stickers left. I have a lot of DSP left because you get a half a pack of the DSP. But I used up a lot of, uh, lot of it. So let's start. I'm going to just pull them out. So this one I thought was so much fun. Together is my favorite place to be. So... Um, this was one of the last ones that I had left. It was like, okay, what am I going to do with the black? So I did um, cut up one of my liners so that I could um, so I could back that, layer that up. And then I cut this out of one of the other ones, blessed, and used some of the um, some of those little pieces that we generally tend to throw away are so cool and so handy. So here's one. I have a bunch of them, y'all. Here's another one. This was one of my favorites. I love, love, love this particular um, piece. So I cut it down. This was at the top. I cut it off and moved it down. And then used some of my designer paper. I like that this one has um, the bumblebee color. It has the shaded spruce. No, mossy meadow, I'm sorry, mossy meadow. But it also has, uh, the dark um, Blackberry Bliss in it. So um, I thought that was cool to pull all those colors together. And the green I got in by using that twine, which I love. Ta-da, the piece I cut off went inside. And then this Happy Thoughts I cut out of one of the um, Memories and More packs, little pages. Okay, this one, again, here's that print that I just love. So I cut the words out. Um, they had some sticker words, but these were in like the little, the smaller cards. So I cut it up. And then the inside on this one, I just used one of those big cards. I cut it down so it would fit. And I used the big card inside. So it says, thinking of you, you are loved. I was like, oh, and it, I just love this. To me, that looked like fireworks in the back, but... I thought that was kind of fun. So, and I used one of our little ladybugs on there. Because I already had this bumped up, it kind of protects it. Now, if I was mailing this, 
I would put a piece of cardstock over the top of it when I mail it just as a little protector. So I don't know if y'all do that, but I do every when, when I have embellishments on there. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. This one was kind of fun. So this particular background piece was uh, one of the six by four cards. And I cut it up. And this is a sticker. Um, my little B is a sticker too. But I um, powdered it and then I put on um, dimensionals, the mini dimensionals, so that that's popped up. So my little ladybug is popped up here. These were stickers that were in there. And then this I cut out of one of the memories and more. But what I did with what is around here is ta-da. I didn't waste any of it. I just glued it inside. So all of this was bigger. And now it's all right there. So it just sort of frames it in. I thought that was fun. <clears throat> this is one of them that I made uh, with you all. So that was one of the one of the three I did on um, Wednesday. Here's another one. So I used some of those little strips here on the side. I used this paper that gives movement. I like all the little um, uh, the design, the pattern with all the little um, lines. <laughs> because I thought it kind of went neat with the lines on this big um, dragonfly. And all these will be cut different, but this one just kind of just kind of popped with that. And then I put the little, this was one of their sticker thank yous. And inside, on these pieces, I had to cut off some of it. And this was cut off of a different one. So I just put them inside just to give it a little bit of decoration and why throw out those good pieces. Made it interesting um, this one was wild um, so this our wonderful life is one of the um, cards that come inside uh, the memories and more pack this pattern and the pattern behind are exactly the same with the difference being the background so the pieces I had left was uh, the Calypso coral and the misty moonlight and it was like how do you bring those all together and so this is what I did. I put light patterns together. The only difference was uh, the background is a different color. And then inside, I had a piece and I cut it in half. And then I wanted to have the writing in the um, mossy meadow. So this was one I cut out of one of the Memories of More pack. I cut it out and put it on there. And I put my last little bee I cut out of a piece of a little tiny square I had of the designer paper and I put him inside so that brings the blue in there again too. So there you go. That one was a little wild. I did put a little bow on this one with our braided our twine here. All right, and I think this was one we did. I think I did this one. I added the little ladybug is on there. That's one we did. Um, on winging it on Wednesday. This one, I just, this was uh, stickers from the Memories and More kit. And then uh, the strips that come in your kit, I just cut them down and put those strips on there. I really like the idea of the stripe and the stripe on the B. Um, I thought it was kind of fun with the yellow. Here's the, um, bringing the blue in again on all three and then I put a piece inside. It's really striking with that black mat, the bumblebee color with the black mat. I thought that was kind of fun. This is the one night, one of them that we did on Winging on Wednesday. So repeat, repeat. Here's another one. So on this one, I used, I cut down one of the cards and used that. Now, one other thing that you could do, like if you had those little tiny squares that I cut off of the other ones, right, this piece here, I wanted a cross piece, so it brought in the yellow again, the bumblebee color. But if you had one of those, two of those little squares, you could just glue the little square there, right, on either side. It doesn't have to go all the way across so that you get more bang for your buck. And then here I put two of our little ladybugs on there. So it's just a smaller version here of what was on there. I did cut this down. And here's part of what I cut off of. I used um, on the inside and made little tabs. This is one of the stickers, congratulations. So fun. 
Now, all this was done with no ink. <clears throat> I'm just using the Memories and More and my um, Dandy Garden Monkey Cut Kit. And here's the last one for that. I really like this one because it pulls the uh, Blackberry Bliss color. I think it's Blackberry Bliss that's in there. That pulls that color um, back and forth and kind of ties in all the colors. Um, with the paper. This is one of the little pieces left. I did cut this out of the center of one of the Memories and More packs. What did I do inside? Oh yeah, so I put just a piece down inside there. And I, I didn't cut this one in half, <clears throat> excuse me, because it had, I didn't want to cut up my little dragonfly there. Because a lot of times I'll cut them in half and then put one on top and one on the bottom. So all of those we're done with the Memories and More kit uh, Dandy Garden. So, so many cool cards. I was just, <laughs> I, I was having too much fun. To tell you the truth, I was just having too much fun. All those plus the three that we made. I have this whole bucket of cards made within a very short amount of time. Just, and I still have lots to go, but that's what I did. I think there were 10. 10 cards here. So I will take pictures and have those on the blog. Then I wanted to show you um, on the Love You Always kit, which um, has that True Love DSP. The True Love DSP is the black and white uh, paper with all the flowers and stuff. But on the back of the flowers are all geometric patterns. So I did this one using that kit. In that kit, you also get, I think, these little um, do you get these? Yeah, the black matte dots. So there we go. I thought that was kind of a fun, uh, fun card using that instead of it. It's not the flower. So if you're looking for something to do a guy card or whatever, um, very versatile. That paper is really versatile. And then I just put happy birthday inside with the, the stripe again to kind of bring it forward. And then the other card use, the other card made with that kit, totally different look, is this one here because this ribbon comes in there too. Um, these die cuts were from um, the Tasteful Labels die cuts. So I did use different die cuts in here. But this is that beautiful um, paper that's pre-embossed, has like a rose gold on there. And then I used some inside and then just did a little note. So, ta-da! I put these on the blog also. I'll take pictures and have that on. So that's what I have for you today. The other thing I wanted to show you is, really excited to share this. So the next, the April Paper Pumpkin Kit is called So Cool. And this is the first kit ever that they've done that you get supplies to make 12 cards that are fun shaped, um, kind of like, I think it's like ice cream cones and popsicles and that kind of stuff, they're shaped. And it is designed to do, um, it, it says features vivid watercolor images, um, two matching sticker sheets, a versatile stamp set with sentiments the entire family can use all year round. It is designed to do with kids. So if you have grandkids or you have small kids, you have kids interested in sitting down and what am I going to do today? Let's do something creative, which is so good to use their brain that way. This is going to be a fun kit. So let me know if you're interested in getting the April Paper Pumpkin So Cool kit. I think that would be so cool. So that's it. That's my Friday. That's my Friday, no stamping, because I have this beautiful mat on here. And so I thought, I'm not going to stamp, but I'm going to show you all my pretty cards. So I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, I do have a little preview of what I'm going to do on Tuesday. Yes, I did get this, the butterfly set. Um, this is a brand new set that um, everybody can get now. I didn't get it right away, but it came today in the mail. So you have die cuts. This is one big stamp. So one big stamp. This is another thing that is perfect to use with your stamparatus. And the die, the die cuts, cut 
out the butterflies on this paper. And I haven't even opened the paper. This literally, we just, when we came in, um, we just opened this up, the box up. So, um, yeah, it was a big surprise to everyone here. <laughs> I ordered it. Now if I can get it open. There we go. Okay. Let's take a look at the die. I just want to show you. I want to look, too, because I haven't seen it in person. So, here we go. I'm going to pull this out. Ta-da! Oh, look at it. So it has little shapes. It has some separate uh, individual butterflies. It looks like brick. Ooh, I'm going to have to play with this, y'all. This is going to be fun. And then look at all these individual, like the outline, detail work for the butterflies. Oh my goodness. This is going to be fun. But this big one matches this. Let's see here. So you bend this. That's how I get it off the plate. I just bend it because it's on with this sticker. And it shall not go back on there because it's too hard for me to get on and off. Okay. So look. It fits on your designer paper. And so without any stamping or doing anything, you have five butterflies cut out just like that, lickety split. So um, it will, when you stamp this, when you stamp it, it will match the, the stamp on here. There, it's big, this is, the, this is opposite now, but um, it'll, it'll cut out the whole, the whole thing. But because it's so big is why I say it would be a nice um, item to use with your stamparatus. So um, that we will be playing with. But look at how cool that is. Cuts out all your paper. And you have all those butterflies to play with. So on Tuesday, I'll be playing with this. So anybody that wants to uh, get this order so that you'll be able to play. You wouldn't get it by Tuesday, but... You'd have some ideas ahead of time, so let me know. Butterfly Brilliance Paper Dyes Stamp Set. Gorgeous. This is something that they're selling as a preview that will be in the next annual catalog. So, getting a jump start on things. I'm excited. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn the camera around here. Let's see here. Oops, I almost put hit finish. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oy vey. There we go. There. So, yeah, the, the mat is an awesome background. I did use the mat for my pictures that I took on my blog. So, I just sat right here because I hate to leave my corner. You know, <laughs> heaven forbid I should leave my little corner here. Um, I sat and I put a white background, had the lights facing, and I just took photographs from here and then um, put it on the blog. So, I will be doing that this afternoon, taking pictures and sharing them with you on the blog. So thank you, thank you for joining me. This will be short and sweet. Y'all can uh, go and have uh, a fish fry, get, get an early start, <laughs> early bird special. Um, and so let me know if you're interested in the April paper pumpkin. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Go to Stamping Journey if you would like to order the monkey cut kits. Um, or if you have any questions, you can write me there too. And y'all have a great, hello, Jan. Yay. Hi, Jan. Your paper came in today. <laughs> um, so I will, um, I will get some pictures for you and let me know if there's anything I can do you, help you with, with your stamping needs. That's it. Have a great weekend. We'll see you for talking on Tuesday at two and we'll be doing some butterfly brilliance cards. Thank you. Bye-bye.